Hey guys, I hope that everybody is having an absolutely wonderful day. Welcome back to EU4. We are um, doing good. I am extremely happy with how things are going right now. Uh, yes, money for war exhaustion is always a good idea. That's basically 75 Diplo points for free. Uh, I think that popping our golden arrow was the right call. We need to make sure we... I, sh I think I shouldn't have personal union these guys because I probably would want to annex them eventually, but this is okay. Let's uh, influence them. Let's influence these guys as well. Just make sure we're keeping all of our vassals as strong as possible. Um, so, since Diplo is where I'm going to want to be getting my mana saved up... Mm -hmm. So wait, can I... Oh, he actually... Oh, fleet basing rights. He won't give the unlawful territory, sadly. Yeah. Anyways, what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to rush through some reforms. If I get this next one here, I will be able to... Um, let's have you drill in, Vladimir. Let's have them drill in over here as well. Looks like I'm losing a little bit of money because of our gold mine depleting. But that's actually a good thing because it means we're not losing nearly as much. So let's actually not have you guys drilling. And we'll just have Vladimir drilling over here. We want him to die. It might sound a little morbid, but yeah, Vladimir needs to die because then he'll give us the extra 10. Ah! Four heretic princes, huh? People are starting to convert. That is unfortunate, man. Yep, these guys are Protestant. These guys are Protestant. These guys are Protestant. Sadly. I can no see be him. That'd be expensive to say the least. I could no see be him. Not worth. Yeah, Onhalt's gonna get get uh, force converted as well. It's about to get a little tough here. Heretic princes is one thing. It's um, it's gonna be the um. Oh, actually, we're gonna lose him if we die before he gets uh topped off. So let's make sure that that doesn't happen here. If we have the availability to. Because, yeah, our king is old. He's real old. 67. Damn, bro. Is there anything I can do to improve relations with you? Let's have you guys all do that as well. Saxony. Nope. Nothing I can do. I can send him some subsidies. No, it's not worth. This is fine. It's fine. So let's take a look at who's at war and uh, see what we can do to fix it. Second Lubeckian conquest of Holstein. So these guys also integrated that province there and I didn't even catch that. So you will... Let's improve relations with him. Or send him a gift. Have you guys enforce peace on him. Have a truce with him. Well, that is really annoying, man. Yep. Nothing I can do about it. All right. Whatever. Home had de war declared on them. What's up with you guys? Can you not? Regensburg? Attacking Munich, huh? Let's improve with him. See if I can enforce that piece as well, at the very least. We finally have Saxony in the positive now, which is good. Send these guys a gift. Looks like the coalition isn't going to be happening, which is good. There are some people that are pretty mad about my growth. Understandable. I'll lose the mana. It's fine. Okay, these guys are friendly now, so let's say... Enforce peace. They say no. I say, okay, well, I'll just make you peace then. Have those guys out of there. Oopsies. Didn't have my morale ticked back up. That was a, a bit of a blunder. No big deal. These wars are always good for me too because I get a lot of money from them, which is just funny in general, right? Nope. I will not lose or gain corruption. I refuse, actually. So those guys have some armies. Here we go, getting a little bit of money here. 
Let's uh, buy that inflation down. Looks like it's going down a bit because of our advisor, which is good. And uh, there we go. More money for me. Pay off the loan, turn off army maintenance, and then have him drilling still. And just in the time of that war, we got five Imperial Authority. 10% towards um, a thing. So that's good. A reform. Imperial ban. Cleansing of the heresy on Moravia. Humiliate rival. Humiliate rival. I'll take the prestige, please. That'd be good for my uh, yearly tick there. Yep. And these guys annex those guys as well. Man, this is annoying. It's fine. I can release two tags from this war. Very annoying. So let's attack them. Wait, I have a truce until December. It's fine. You guys come up there. Let's have another lazy diplomat handling outraged countries and then, then let's just have two of them on outraged countries. New tech. Goodness gracious. So we are ahead of... Uh, I guess the question is, is do I want to just dev up the institution here? Looks like it's actually growing right now. Oh my goodness. Well, how far off am I from... Well, I did not realize that that was a thing. Well, say no more. Say less, as they say. Let's take you here. Embrace. And then... Um, Do a little bit of mill dev. That way I can take time tech on time. Should be good. Fort defense, national manpower. Let's go with the manpower. People are leaving our coalition because they know they're they don't stand a chance. There is literally not a chance that they can hurt me. Let's repay any loans that we can. There we go. Not bad at all. Venice Luxembourg, huh? Yeah, Luxembourg. I would prefer it if you allowed those guys to be independent still. There you go. He allied somebody. Very good. Lubeck. Truce is up in December, so let's turn our army maintenance back up. Apparently, I'm going to lose a ton of money. Like, an absolute ton of money. 100 free dipple point mana is wonderful. I love that. And then I lose the free Diplo mana that I just got. And now I attack these guys with Imperial Liberation. They call in a couple of people. I don't give a rip. I'll call Trierin, sure. That's half my army here. Let's have you guys in there. Have you guys with him here. That should be a pretty easy win. Should be able to wipe them there. Wipe them here. Those guys head over here. go there you go now we just need to siege them all down should be pretty straightforward and as soon as this war is over we'll be able to uh push through the next reform i'm just gonna barrage those walls 100 mil mana well spent in my mind yep should be pretty straightforward again just check every once in a while make sure that he's still the correct religion there is no more centers of reformation that have popped up, so we're just sitting here and waiting. This war is going to be uh, returning a bunch of cores and then releasing two tags. That's that's the borders that are going to change here. Only 37 war score to do it. Definitely worth it. Sure. National tax is fine with me. Just need to take that fort there, and uh, there we go. Should be able to piece them out very soon here. We are blessed, indeed. Here we go. This is fine. Peace out. That will allow us to click this one here. Absolute Reichsstabilität, or however that is pronounced, which gives us state maintenance, which is fine. Uh, the main thing is, is gives Cassus Belli on non-members bordering the empire to force them to join the empire. 
very, very good for us. Extremely good for us. Um, this is still going down just a little bit at a time. And how long until Imperial Unity goes away? Is it 15 years? All right. That's not bad. So we need two more and we get Perpetual Diet. Imperial Authority from Free Cities is good. Okay, so let's take a look here. at bo States that border us that we can add to the HRE. Milan, are you big enough? Let's wait a month. So let's see here. Burgundy can join. So we attack Burgundy. Separate piece out France, maybe? Hmm. These guys are independent. So that's a definite yes for me. Let's have these guys grouped up. And if you don't know, you gain five. I think it's five per tag that you bring into the HRE. So, Oh, no. Castilian Conquest, huh? Oh, no. They just annexed their entire country. Well, I can do it to Bohemia in, or Scotland instead. Well, I suppose I'm going to have to then, right? <laughs> 6.4 Imperial Authority. Well, uh, the issue is, is I don't have a single ship. I do not have a single ship. So that's not going to happen. Um, well. I suppose we're just going to look for the white piece then. That's unfortunate. Because now I won't even be able to yoink that land and pull it back into the HRE, right? So I suppose it is time to attack him then. England doesn't matter. England won't do anything. Venice doesn't matter. I can actually have him return cores in this war, so that would be fine with me. How about you guys? Could I attack you to force you into the Empire? I can. Huh. That would be good. Let us... Okay, so I'm going to do a trick here. I'll show you guys an easy way to break a royal marriage if you're having a hard time with it. No longer a seat of a cardinal. You sons of guns. Unlawful territory from Liege, huh? You guys ate Galray. Let him go. I'll send him a gift. See if I can get him to be friendly to me. Release him. Unhand him. The Church of England, huh? They did it. So we have our next thing over here in Munich. Cleansing of the heresy because I border him? Oh, I do border him. Well, how convenient. How absolutely convenient that is. Wonderful. Let's go do that then. Have these guys come down here. All I need to do is siege him down and the Emperor is dead. Long live the Emperor. So, we should have kept all of our PUs, I assume. Right? Yes. Very good. They integrated him, which is great. So, all we need to do is occupy him. And we'll be able to get rid of that Center of Reformation. Luxembourg, no, same one. Is that Rebels? It is. That's hilarious. It's actually super funny. I can take this tech and this tech here. Next tech is going to be Quantity. Hmm. We already have it. Hmm. Let me see here. We already have combat ability, morale, and siege ability. Diplo gives Diplo rep and war exhaustion. Offensive. I am always a fan of Diplo Rep Merc Manpower. Eh, don't care about that. Missionary Strength versus Heretics. Okay, we're going to go offensive. I changed my mind. We're going offensive. We have War Taxes on still, so let's turn those off. Definitely don't need them. I don't care about those. I'm going to end up needing them eventually, but uh, we've won the Siege of München. München. 
So let us force religion and peace out. That's all I needed. And that gets rid of that center of reformation. And we continue to push for the HRE. So did we get an heir? We did. He's also a good enough, he's good age to come of age. So we're gonna make him a general here and have him uh, drilling the armies. I guess I just have to sit on this war. There's nothing I can really do about it. Upgrade our units. Take that. Being ahead on Diplotech is going to also save us a little bit of money. So it's good. Army maintenance, huh? It just casually costs us that much money. Yeah, you'll have that, I suppose. Let's do a little bit of this. Get some free money. The base tax hurt my hurts my income overall, but it's not a big deal. Let's take that, which actually gives me 10% tech cost. I didn't realize it was 10%. That's really strong. Land leader fire once we finish that. Very good. It's crazy. I haven't expanded my personal border since this. <laughs> kind of funny. Oh, I guess over there we have, but... I just want a white piece. I don't actually care about this war. Keeping an eye on who's converting and who isn't. On halt has converted. And as these like OPMs get converted, it's unfortunate, but it's gonna happen. Cologne is annexing so much clay over here. Cologne. You're pissing me off, dude. I don't have a truce with him, do I? I do not. So he's not allied? Oh, here we go. So this will be my opportunity to have him annul his alliance. Wait, how come? Oh, France is guaranteeing him. Okay, so here's the deal. We either attack him and deal with France or we don't. England won't matter. In Venice, we can return his cores to Austria right now. I say we do it. I say we do it. I'm going to head over here and uh, hopefully not regret it. These guys should handle Venice for me. Cool, I guess we'll just pay more for tech, apparently, for no reason. Random event. Let's get you guys over here. And let's just come stand over here. Oops. Oh, I'm going to kill his rebels for him. That's unfortunate. I did not mean to do that. Because he had an unlawful territory. Is there a reason why those rebels were so, like, strong? That was crazy. So all I need to do is separate piece France out. A white piece is more than sufficient. They are attacking me here. Really? Could you not? They are still going to attack me here in the woods. All right. Does not seem intelligent. Yeah. I don't know what you guys were doing there. Let's um get all the cannons in there. Don't know why they did that. That was dumb. But I like offensive. Offensive is good. And siege down Paris here. They have rebels as well. All I need to do is white piece him. I don't care. Because it's going to give 24 AE. It's not bad. We can live with that. If we peace out, mm, we might keep France in the war. But I'd also like to get like a humiliate off on him. Austria is going to eat up on Styria. Understandable. Lost the siege. What? Really? Bro, get out of this war. I don't want this war. I didn't realize that it was Castile that full occupied him. So that was me being dumb there. Mm. Sadly, they're going to take Paris back. And they're probably going to get him off of Chartier as well. Come on now. 35%. There we go. Let's have these guys come over here. Do something like this. Carpet siege him down. Just keep an eye on these guys. As long as they stay away from the fort, I don't mind. I'm going to barrage those walls. That's fine with me. I think I need his capital, do I not? Picardy. Okay. Hey, we're the papal controller again. That's great. Wow, that's we've been very lucky with that. It helps us out a ton. Is there any new ones? Nope. Just keep the dev cost, I suppose. No big deal. So I think we can take half of these guys and pull them over there since they don't we don't need all those cannons anymore. Let's get a new general as well. 
Have them come down here. Because it's a level one fort. You only need one cannon per level of the fort. And these guys are on my fucking capital. Are you kidding me? Get off. Get away. Hey not. I will I will destroy you. Guarantee you they're just crushing my um prosperity over there. Making me angry. You guys won't like me when I'm angry. Also, I'm not winning easy sieges as well, which is a little triggering. Yeah, I think we have to piece France out. I think they're just gonna there's just too many men in this war. Bro, please let me win a siege. Why do they have such high defensiveness as well? Luck. Lucky nations. Yeah, sack them. Destroy them all. Professionalism? Yeah, I'll take the professionalism. Alright, these guys are on medium. Just get out of the war. I don't I don't want that anyways. Let's do something like this. Just carpet siege down France. It shouldn't be an issue. I should be able to just do this. Something like that. Because all of his armies are over here already. As soon as I start occupying this stuff, I'll I'll white piece him. Or, you know, piece him out for whatever I can. And then we'll head over. Ooh, wow. He made really good progress on my capital there. Are you actually kidding me? Oh! Yeah, sounds sounds like the AI. Got a wall breach on one rotation. Sounds good. Screw you, France. You cheating ass. There you go. Get out of here, jerk. All right, so now we have to go beat up on um, Venice. So let's go do that. We've won the Siege of Picardy. Yes. So with Venice, or with uh, England in the war, we have to be a little more careful about it, but it shouldn't be a huge issue. I imagine the main the main person that we need to be worried about is... Oh, look at England landing men over here. So dumb. So, so dumb. <laughs> All right, let's speed five for now. Okay, apparently I lost access down here. Siege down Brescia. Put these guys over here, something like that, so we're not losing as much men to attrition. I guess I'm going to deal with some rebels in Radabor. I'm not going to lose a hundred relations with the Pope for literally no reason. And Castile literally ate all of Naples. And then half the Pope. Who knew? Get these guys down here as well. I'll handle the rebels eventually. Unlawful territory from mines. Mines. Why, man? Can you please release him? 38 because of internal peace. Yikes. Making progress. How much will we get from this? 5.4. Not bad. It's happening. It's definitely happening. Get you guys over here. There we go. Now, Venice. If I wanted Venice to return some cores. Those are the only two provinces that I have that he has that are in the HRE, actually. I would love to do that. 37, though. That's a little expensive, is it not? Apparently, I have to march all the way around there for that one. Sounds good. I'm going to barrage those walls so I can get that ASAP. My, my vassal should handle most of that for me. They're definitely taking their sweet time on it. All we need to do is white piece England, which we'll be able to do pretty soon. Especially if he's going to land his men over here and take a bunch of attrition in the steps for no reason. Venice will, uh, yeah, we can get that piece, no big deal. Just going to need to uh, carpet siege him down over here. Easy enough. Venice will do that. England will white piece. Venice will do that piece there. Cost me 55 Diplo. I will say worth. And he full annexed Styria. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I'm not surprised. 
So, next one. Royal Decree tends to be the best one. Yeah, let's go with the Royal Decree. Absolutism is just very strong in general. Now we will force you guys into the Empire. And I will... Not get a coalition, and I will gain five point something. Very good. So the HRE grows. So I will also do it with Milan here. We definitely need to do it with Milan. Pope Man won't even join. So that's like best case scenario. Let's get these guys all over here. Let's uh, detach you. And then we'll have you guys head over here. Have you guys with him head down here. And uh, we'll do this one pretty quickly. Expand Empire, 32 AE, not bad. Then we'll be able to get these guys, then these guys, then these guys. We'll be able to work our way down into Italy. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, do please make sure that you show your support by leaving a like on the video. It does help us out a lot more than you may know. Uh, also, if you guys want to support us on Patreon, we do have that linked in the description below the video. And then uh, we also have a... Uh, we also have a Discord that is also linked in the description. I'm just gonna, man, I'm so obsessed with barraging walls. I just can't not do it. I kind of want to just wrap this, do this war real quick here. Because I should be able to, right? But uh, yes, all that stuff is great. Also, let me know, let me know in the comments down below. I, I really do appreciate all the feedback that I've been getting from this campaign. So if you guys have something that you'd like for me to know that you think would be good for us, drop it in the comments. Ah, hit the wrong button there. We go get you guys over here. Get you guys over here. Yeah, eventually. And uh, I think we'll just wrap this war up real quick, and then should be good. Ooh, I missed that. So let's begin this war here. No CB is fine. It's not a big deal. Platinum won't even join him. We're gonna need to uh, take that stab hit because we need to. I'm also gonna buy that down. We need to um, crush that Reformation Center. Protect the Heretic Princes. Yeah, this is just going to be a little bit of a longer episode. I'm sure you guys are okay with it. You guys usually are. Got a wall breach. Siege him down. 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 Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There we go. Get up here. All we need to do is take his capital and we should be good. These guys are black flag for reasons. There you go. That should be straightforward. There's our 50 right there. Pull you guys over here. Let's barrage those walls. Prevent him from... Hey! The Emperor is dead. Long live the Emperor. So now we have 62. Uh, admittedly, not the best time to die. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. And we have an heir who is also 29. So, it's fine. I'm actually okay with it. So... Lose some Diplo, it's fine. There we go. Force religion, boom. Now there is only one Reformation Center. That is all of them. That's the last of them. This is how it's going to look. There, Nothing else will convert it except for by event. So we're good. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, all that stuff is linked in the description. That's all I got for you for now. This is Chewy Shoot and I will... Oh, actually, what am I doing? Bruh. This is so important. This is so very important. Bestow the Imperial Grace upon thine electors so that they will vote for me. And then, push this guy. We get yearly tax income and a Diplo rep. So, not bad. One more, we get the Perpetual Diet, and then we can start really pushing through stuff. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. A big special shout out to my top March patrons, Drunk Binary, Spartan Omega, Palmer, Bloodbound92, DeVos Sander, Angelic, F. Jensen, Fat Man on Deck, J. Eden, M. Dressel, Tharip, Blonde Damon, Corbett, Trinkopotamus, T. Jarden, Bargain Glad, Natsuki, Disdain, Harry, Hamerado, J. Cutchell, and Winkler, RJ Pilot, Stoiler, Agent Rhino, Arcus, and Airborne Animal 7. There's many more and I couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you.